born in the south with a twang in my mouth with a honeysuckle wind did blow Good morning. Uh, it is a chilly 39 degrees when we woke up. It's hard to believe that it's the first part of September and it's 39 degrees. Uh, looked at the weather report last night and Utah got snow yesterday. Uh, pretty incredible to be out here and it's snowing already close by. If we hung out here much longer we would probably run into some snow but uh, that is not in the cards for us, but uh, we are uh, just outside Buena Vista, Bu Buena, Buna. Buna Buna Vista. Vista. I could be wrong. I, I apologize for butchering that if I am. Found a nice dispersed spot uh, after a lot of exploring yesterday. Uh, we got in here. We were just so enamored with Colorado that we just rode and rode and rode and explored, and it got to be late in the day and said, oh, we need to find us a place. So we did, and uh, pretty good sleep. It's pretty quiet. Um, it's just beautiful country. It's hard to stay away from it, but we've got to move on and start making our way a little bit south and get some things done and then see where we end up next. Our road there's a gate right down there that goes down a little bit of a hill I think this would be a pretty decent spot there's a stone fire ring it's kind of out on a bluff um, but uh, it's not bad let me, let me show you what what, I, what, you, what I think what I see tell me what you think there that pretty awesome you're on a little plateau or a little bluff right here and look down into this valley it would be awesome to wake up in the morning to elk bugling down in that valley with a nice herd just grazing through there that would be nice my only concern is the wind it's cut up a couple times since we've been sitting here and it's pretty strong but uh, you might withstand it but then again it might 
cause you to close up and drive back down the hill. But we'll see. We're going to mark it for our own personal use. And uh, we may be back here. Still early. We're going to keep looking. Well, we thought by looking at Gaia that there was an abandoned mine up this way. And we come up this road, but there is a gate. So if there's a mine, it's up on private property, and I guess we'll never lay eyes on it. But I think we're going to stop right here and take a little lunch break. It's a nice spot. The wind is steady, but not heavy. So let's have something to eat. Clearly you don't work at Moe's. This is not the best setup to make a little burrito, <laughs> I can tell you. This is not really working out. Yeah, well, when you're camped on a slant. You make the best of it. campsite again right along the road but I feel like they all are around here they're right along the road but uh, it's a good flat spot uh, there's a stone fire ring here the view across from the campsite or out it's pretty awesome check that out can you see that not a bad spot uh, We'll probably mark it for ourselves in case we want to come back here. But it's pretty nice, pretty quiet. It's still early, so we're going to keep on exploring.
eyeballing for a spot tonight. We're not sure where we want to stay. We found, we found some spots that we really do like. That one on the bluff. I don't know. I'm worried about the wind though. I don't want to get caught in the wind because it's been windy lately the past few nights. and I don't want to have to move in the dark coming down there. But uh, we're going to keep easing back down a little bit. I knew this was a out and back, but it is a long out and back, which is fine. We discovered a great road a few minutes ago that was very fun to go up. Not too technical, didn't require four wheel drive, but it was nice. So we're, got, we're on the lookout, we're on the hunt for the spot. 